Hello, my lovelies. So it's that time again. Game of Thrones is back, which means at least for a few weeks, we should have some interesting hair. Thank goodness. I was slightly disappointed last night that there really wasn't a lot of interesting hair going on. Um, almost everything was just two little ropes pulled back. <laughs> totally. So, um, Daenerys had an interesting braided style. Uh, I'm pretty sure Siobhan's going to do that one. And as soon as she gets it up, I will link to it down here for you guys. Um, because that is as it should be. Um, <laughs> uh, the only other hairstyle I saw that was even remotely interesting was Roz. Um, the, the whore. I mean, she is. She's one of Peter Baelish's whores. So, um, sorry, but, you know, that's the character. And uh, she had a pretty braided do. I did not get to see it from the back, however. So we're going to go with what I thought I saw. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm breaking it down to be as simple as it can possibly be. Because I'm doing that, um, you're going to need a lot of length. If you don't have enough length, I will tell you a cheat that we can do when we get there. Alrighty, um, after we're done with the hairstyle, I'm going to talk to you a little bit after the fact. So we don't have too much talky talky up front. Alright, uh, for this hairstyle, you are going to need two clear elastics, some pins. Um, I'm going to be using magic grips. And one bobby pin, because uh, I'm going to pin my bangs back into it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two English braids on one side. I know, that sounds so exciting, doesn't it? Um, yeah, like I said, I am making this as simple as it can possibly be. Now... Um, we're going to separate this into two, like so. I'm going to put this over here for now. And I'm just going to braid. Now, if you do not have enough hair to go all the way around your head, you're going to have to separate into three. As in, you will have two on this side, and then keep enough left on this side to do one more. Um, because what we're going to do is one of these braids is going up and around our whole head. If you do not have enough hair for that to happen, you can cheat it with two braids. One on this side that goes halfway and pin, and one on this side that goes the other halfway and pin. Milkmaid braids, kind of, sort of. So, we are doing this, like I said, in the simplest version. Um, by all means, if you want to do a crown braid and leave some out, feel free. Um, I really hate crown braids. Um, not the way they look. I think they're gorgeous, but I just have problems with crown braids. So um, I figured we can get the same look for a lot less effort. So let's do that. Alrighty, um, I'm going to finish braiding this portion and then I'm going to braid the next portion also on the exact same side um, and then I will be back to show you the next step. Alrighty guys, Alrighty, guys. so this is where we should be. Two English braids on one side. Um, can you do rope braids? Yes, by all means do rope braids. It may even be in fact that her hair was rope braided. I'm not positive because I saw it once, but uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. So um, I decided to do English braids because we're going to fluff. Um, the thing is, when you use your own hair instead of a hair piece, you only have so much to work with. You cannot, you know, magically create more to thicken things up. However, we're going to cheat it. Um, so of your two braids, um, this one, the bottom one, is the one that's going to end up going around our head. Um, but at this point, it doesn't particularly matter because we're going to fluff both of these. As you can see, I left a considerable amount of tail on the ends and I used, you know, my big ponytail holders because we're going to replace these with the clear elastics once we get these fluffed. Now, to fluff mine, I have one of my um, little decorative hair sticks. Uh, you can see the end. 
it is pointy, um, we're going to fluff, which means grasp your ponytail holder, take the end of this, poke it about halfway through one of these, and then pull. Pull, pull. Um, so now we got a loop. Do it the other side. Yep. Now continue all the way up. We want to fluff this braid up um, to make it appear that we have thicker hair than we do. Um, it also makes it a bit romantic. Um, yeah, I'm just saying. So I'm going to fluff these, come on, fluff these braids up a bit and I will be back because it does take a little bit of time to do this. <laughs> Once we are fluffed, I shall return and show you the next step. Um, and yes, by all means, fluff both. Okay. All right, before I fluff the other one, I just kind of wanted to show you the difference so you don't think I'm just doing this for giggles. Um, this one is not fluffed and this one has been fluffed. Do you see how much wider and thicker it appears to be? Also softer. Um, yeah, which will be nice for this pretty soft style. All right, I'm going to fluff the other and then I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, once they're fluffed, replace these with your clear elastics. All right, Penny, found the time for pins. Um, so, fluffed braids, the one on the bottom, or the one that I guess is furthest to your right hand side, or you left, your left if you did it the other way. Um, pull it up around this one. Go around your head, pin it, that's it. <laughs> um, I am pulling it back like such and then pushing it forward a little bit just so I can soften up this little bit in the front. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pin. I think I will actually pin from behind and try to hide these pins as best as I can. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just pinning. Just pinning. Um, can you sew this down? Sure, if you wanna. Um, you know, feel free. Okay, we're here at the end. Um, and as you can see, I still have tail to come over here. What I'm gonna do is actually take off my clear elastic on this side because I think I can make this look relatively smooth if I just bring it over, bring it up, and I'm going to pin it behind this side of my braid over here, like this. Tuck it in, and then pin it down. I know, you're looking at that sticky up bit, laughing. That's okay. We'll fix that in a second. I think I'll bobby that bit. Just because bobbies seem to work best on the little bitty ends for some reason. Um, all right, that is bobbied fairly well. Um, oh yeah, my bangs. So, I'm going to pull them back and pin them as well. Right up underneath this braid. That's it! That's it. Told you it was easy! Um, let me look. Let's see how the back looks. Back doesn't look bad. Um, yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Um, why does it look thicker on Ross? Um, well, one of those braids is a hairpiece. Actually, I think the actress herself actually doesn't have very long hair anyway. So all of it's hair pieces. But I guarantee you they took one sheaf and made the braid around and another sheaf to make this. Um, I had to split mine in half. But it still ends up when you floof the braid, this still looks like almost a full head of hair. As does this. Looks nice and thick. Um, Fluffing, fluffing is good. Um, so just to make this a little more, I don't know, spark 
quickly. Let's add some some butterflies. Da -da. I think I will add the butterflies here towards the bottom just to kind of dress that up a bit. Like I said, I didn't really see Roz's uh, the back of her hair. So it's one of them things. Da -da. Go down that side. But it ends up being really pretty. La 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 la. Nice. Uh, by all means, add ribbons, add pearls, add whatever sparkly accoutrement you would like. Um, but this is pretty much it. Da -da. Told you it was easy. Alrighty. Um, and like I said, if you can't go all the way around with one braid, do two. One on each side, bring them up and over. And then you can just do like I did and add a few butterflies or flowers or whatever. Alrighty, um, so that is it for the hairstyle for today. Um, and I will see you guys later. However, um, if any of you are still watching, <laughs> two things. Um, I apologize for my overall shabbiness today. Uh, usually, I, um, I try to well, usually when I do a hair tutorial, I am leaving the house. And when I leave the house, I try to dress nice. That's just the kind of person I am. Um, I am in scrubby clothes because I can't leave the house today because my husband left the windows down in my car and now the seats are all wet. So, and I'm not going to make myself more laundry. That's just silly. All right. So, you know, just so you know. Um, I also usually try to dress in a fashion that either complements or reflects the type of style we're doing. Like when I did the Regency styles, I tried to do the the ruffle collar and the pin tucks. And I know that sounds really silly and most of you have probably never noticed that I do try to coordinate my outfits with whatever kind of hair we're doing. <laughs> Not every time, but usually. Um, so yeah. That's just, that's silliness, but that's just me. Um, the second thing is these Game of Thrones hairstyles. Now, most of you know that Siobhan and I um, try to do as many as we can. Um, she is generally much better at the Daenerys Targaryen styles than I am. Um, and I usually take Cersei just because we have the same hair. Um, and then sometimes it's just a cool hairstyle, so we both do the exact same style, although sometimes we approach it in different ways, and that is super fun. Um, also, since we do have various hair lengths, it is nice to see it on a different length. Um, however, we have a special surprise. This year, we talked Lucy into playing along with us. Um, we think it will be really awesome because she has, you know, that beautiful silky dark hair. Um, she's also really good at hairstyles and crazy braids and things. So, um, anytime that Lucy puts up a GOT hairstyle, I'm linking to her too. Uh, because we think it's going to be a whole lot of fun having three of us girls really play around. Um, why are we obsessed with Game of Thrones? It's one of the few things on television that is really giving us new and interesting ways to fix our hair. Um, it just is. Most people don't have super long hair and they are underrepresented in television. So you only every now and then see a character with really long hair. And when you do, it's almost always loose. It just is. Um, the super elaborate hairstyles are usually, uh, you know, like like in movies that either are fantasy or some sort of period something or other. Um, not a lot on the television. So we are super excited because Game of Thrones, since it is somewhat medieval, gives us elaborate hairstyles and most of the ladies have really long hair, which is helpful. Alrighty, so now you know and if you listen through all that blabber at the end, um, you are my special few, and I love you. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, um, until next time, have a great day. Bye.